Hi everyone. Just imagine. Just imagine. Around you is a beautiful, huge, and threatening forest filled with dinosaurs, T Rex, and pterodactyls, and monsters, and huge serpents, and Dracula and vampires and dragons. Just imagine that you suddenly realize that I have the power to conquer all of them. How? Just imagine if you put a two-year-old on top of this table and you step away, two steps away and say, come, You'll see the two-year-old is not bothered. He'll straight away jump. He will not think that he's going to fall down. But you put a four or a five-year-old, he will look at the ground. <laughs> and he will think, I hope I'm not going to fall down. And he will cry, they come and catch hold of me. Just imagine. Same way, that boy knew I cannot. And that two-year-old is not bothered. You would know that you could conquer all those animals and terrible things. And not only that, you go on to your conquest. Just imagine, like the ancient time you read the stories, yeah, and you winning over and destroying those terrible creatures quite well with a little effort of course and then you come across a huge castle and the people around the castle and the people around you in the forest everywhere they're suffering because of the monsters and there is a wicked witch in the castle has captured the princess and have killed the king and the queen and you are going to win <laughs> over that wicked witch. Just imagine, you may be a boy or a girl but you're going to make that fairy prince free and the kingdom and the people thereafter would live happily thereafter because of you I'm taking you across onto a journey on this fantastic expedition in which you will make three discoveries what is it leading to in a short while <laughs> the first discovery is you know I had this very special jacket designer jacket <laughs> made in Mumbai I love this jacket and the suit. I take good care of it. I dust it. I don't go and dump it. I put it into nicely. Get it dry clean in the right amount of time. But I do not think this jacket is me. You will not think either this is Robin Bush, isn't it? I have another jacket. This jacket fits me very well. So I like it very much. I have another jacket that is beautifully, this is dark brown. That's a wheat complexion made in Bengal, India. <laughs> that also fits me very well. And I have a matching gloves, matching socks. I take care of that too very well. And that's my body. Made it big gall, big golly body, Indian body. But we have grown up believing that is me. That the first discovery, that is not me. I'm something else. This body continues to change. 
just like that suit jacket is not me this more fitting skin and the flesh and the bone is neither me that body keeps on changing this jacket will also become thin and one day i have to throw it off this tightly fitting jacket will also change and will age and one day it has to go away but i will remain and same is with you first discovery you are not your body second discovery i'm going back home from the school and i start off in my car and i had to take a left turn to go to with my house and as i reach the main street the car turns to the right i am fighting to turn to the left but the car takes a turn to the right i said hey what is this what is happening what is happening i'm trying to turn it back it will not listen car now has its own personality i'm saying hey i have to go home there are people waiting a car says i have to go to phoenix mall for shopping I say, hey, come on, not now. I will take you on Saturday, Sunday. No, I want to go now only. And this is neither me. That is my mind, which is taking me for a beautiful ride, and is taking me to Phoenix Mall, and say, I want Starbucks coffee. I said, I don't feel like having coffee. No, but I want coffee. I want to eat one more cookie. <laughs> I said, "Listen, this cookie is junk food. It's not good for you." He said, "No, I want it. I have to take care, and when I take care of that brown skin, the body says, 'Ah, he takes good care of me.' When I don't eat the junk food, by because the mind is wanting it, or." smoke a cigarette or drink alcohol mind says he takes good care of me and mind is just ready to go in for a journey and those monsters in the expedition were nothing else but the monsters in our mind desires greed hatred anger jealousy this is me this is mine money property food and perfume and good clothes looking handsome with the type of hair i have or the hair style i have that's neither me to discovery the body is not mine the mind is not me body is not me mind is not me third discovery as i sit still i'm having great fun with this little body and the little mind and having some fun sometimes not fun sometimes sick sometimes not sick sometimes eating too much and becoming fat sometimes eating too less sometimes eating good and healthy and diet free gluten free diet and feeling very good energetic full of life can do win the world and all those monsters and the witch and the dinosaurs and the draculas when nothing else but the things in our mind the third discovery i sit still i realize i'm not my mind i'm not body then who am i who am i who am i i sit still and i see a beautiful Calmly sit. Initially, as I sit, I can't sit. I'm like a jumping jack, moving, scratching. I have to switch on 
the fan, I have to switch off the fan, I have to open the window, I have to close the window, I have to switch on the AC, I have to switch off the AC. Something or the other is going on in the mind and the body and the itching. But I say nothing to it. I'm going to sit there. There is a powerful silence within. The purpose of the humanity and being born as a human being is to get connected to that silence within and express that silence which is divine, which is powerful, is nothing outside compared to that what is within. Swami Vivekananda says that purpose of human birth is to express after manifesting that divinity of silence from within. In every walk of life, once I get connected to it, I suddenly realize I am disconnected from my mind, I'm disconnected from my body. And when I come out of that silence, I do put on my body again, I do put on my mind again to serve the people and the world around. We are born to do things. This sitting still, every day 15 minutes morning and every day 15 minutes in the evening at least, to do what? That power which is within us is nothing in the world outside is compared to that ancient Vedanta message. Realize that power within. So the journey that I took you through a little small story in the beginning of the journey of meditation to get connected to who you truly are. You are infinitely strong and those of you who are doing who are getting connected, that silence within is called the power of the consciousness. Without the consciousness, you and I can't do anything. When you're sitting still, when you're feeling fidgety, remember, as you're feeling disturbed, everybody feels disturbed. Everybody passes through the jumping jack, jumping bean story in the beginning. No, before this, I was beautiful and calm. After this disturbed status, I will again be beautiful and calm. So I am aware of the disturbed state. I am not the disturbed state. I am not the disturbed mind. I am experiencing, I am aware of the disturbed mind. Body may have fever, cough, cold, headache. I am aware of the body. It needs little dry cleaning maybe. <laughs> it needs to be healed and the purpose of this powerful journey through the meditation is nothing else you attain certainly tremendous power that power is within the power of the consciousness power of awareness called the stillness you suddenly realize nothing is going to disturb me, number one. And two, you have the power to control everything around you. You need great success, great name, great academic success, great financial success, great relationship success. Everything happens because you are connected to you. Start practicing meditation every day. 15 minutes in the morning, 15 in the evening. And if you feel like doing more, it's a boon, it's a bonus. And use your life to help the people around. Liberate the people around from that witch in the castle, from the monsters around, outside and within. You have fun in your travel.